welcome back to my channel, uh, Tri5 Guy. So, uh, we started putting all the glass in. We started doing some wiring. It's got an American Auto wire uh, wiring harness in it. Uh, there's a video just for that going to be coming out here in the next week or so. Uh, yeah, but so we, we put the uh, steering column in as well. So steering column, we put the uh, rain gear wiper set up in it. So that's all done. Steering column come up really nice. It's all mounted in properly. The wiring's a bit of a uh, spaghetti at the moment, but uh, it's getting there. Uh, put the glass, the side glass here is in. Come up good. Uh, so these come in a kit that you buy. You buy the whole glass kit, but it doesn't come with any of this rubber. You have to use your own. Um, you have to use your own quarter vent windows and all the hardware associated with that. So basically all I did was, uh, you know, used uh, the original ones on the car and put them back on and I rebuilt the quarter vent windows, new rubbers, uh, you know, everything's all greased up and so it all works nicely. Uh, do I have a door handle here? That's the question. Do I have a door handle? But, oh, I can use this one, can't I? Considering it is a door handle, uh, door winder. Yeah, so they, they work out work out really good i loop that up that's that spring uh coiling and so forth it, it'll it'll come up good but uh yeah they work slick they look work really good all the doors open and close uh everything's lubed up oh. yeah all you know, the door opens and closes lock yeah so it's uh Oh, I won't close that in there, will I, hey? The doors are all adjusted now, uh, come up really good. They're perfect, you know. They close so nicely. Look. Whoop. Really, really good. Uh, so this is next. We got uh, uh, new channels for the back doors. Um, so we'll install them today as well. Get them in. Uh, you can buy these either straight long length. I don't recommend you buy the long ones to save $20 or $30. It's not worth it. These ones come with all the clips already installed, the pre-bent ones. They come with the back channel. So if you don't, if your back channels are rusted out, hey, they come with them. So that's pretty cool. Um, it doesn't come with the front channel, but we've got them anyway. So Guys, these are actually replacements for the long ones that we got originally, so they didn't come with the front, but they usually do come with them. Get them in the door, put the glass in, the new glass, and this is smoke glass, and um, I like it. Um, you can get a front smoke screen as well if you wanted to, and a rear. Um, in my opinion, this windshield has seen better days. It's really, it's pretty bad, and, uh, you know, it'll clean up all right, but it's just, it, it's pitted and so forth, so... But we'll get we'll get this glass uh, this door done for sure today and the other one. Uh, we'll just set the bumper bumper in there as you guys know. Uh, you've seen the inside of this, I'm sure. Uh, it's all painted now. Uh, here's those uh, straight channels that you can buy, and we try to bend the first time. We worked out how <laughs> how to bend them now, but uh, complete junk. But the idea is when you bend these. Uh, you got to start at the bottom and work your way to where the bend is. So you got to see how these are sticking out, you know, nicely. But what, see how I've got a decent bend on this side, but it's crinkled here. What you got to do is you got to start the bend at the start of it. Now, nowhere on YouTube does it say how to bend them. They they show you how they bend if you bend them at the end here, but they don't show you where you got to bend them because the bend. On them starts over here right and that's a like you know two foot away if you try to bend that right in the middle the wire that's inside the channel will not bend you've got to start at the bottom and start kind of like bending it bending it bending it into a bigger loop until you get to that point once you get to that point you can straighten this section out you so so you'll have a bend here ready to go the bend will be there then you just straighten all that back out then you get the other side you measure what you need you start bending it from the bottom and you work your way up. You just bend it into a coil. Get to this point. Once you got this point, you straighten this side back out. Everyone just shows you like Steel Rubber Company and, and whoever else. They just start bending it at the bottom. 
Um, so if you do that, if you try to just start bending it in the middle of the curve, you're gonna have trouble. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work out for you. You're gonna, you're gonna kink it and you're gonna freak out about it like we did. But something learned, you know what I mean? So here's the other side here. Uh, sorry, here's the other door. As you can see, we're gonna replace them. And we've got this door in. See, we got we got all this side because we learnt by our mistakes. But this side's done. Uh, same quarter vent. Ah, oh, this one's locked. I'm not going to unlock it. But same, you know, the door's all on. Winder's all on. Looking good. And door just closes. Same closes. Nice, beautiful. So we're going to get everything closed, um, and then move back onto the wiring. Uh, yeah. So like I said, guys. Uh, we put these bumper, we're going to replace these bumper ends. He's got some good used ones, uh, got good used tail lights and all the stainless. Get all that on. Uh, get it so the car's weather tight because it's going to live outside for the for the winter. Uh, we've got other uh, a couple other cars coming in. I think we've got a Buick coming in uh, for some uh, floor work. And uh, yeah, so this one will be outside uh, for the winter. And the 35's going into storage. Uh, the hood's ready to paint. Now, I haven't painted the hood because we've got some black stuff for the 57 to get done. The 35 is just about done. We sealed up the glass in the middle. Uh, we just got to, I made, <coughs> I'll open the door here. I made these things here for the wiring to, to roll in and, you know, roll in and out here. So when you put your wiring in for this, that it'll articulate inside the door jam you see what i'm saying so the wires won't get uh caught up and that's that's just like uh what is it five six cents quarter inch hose and a, and a plumbing fitting and a and a uh, washer but uh you just you know people sell those uh as a kit but why you, you don't you don't you don't see it number one and you spend the money and this costs like five dollars a side or you know what i mean so so that's how it works. The wire goes into there, it doesn't get caught up and it goes all the way through the quarter panel. And uh, yeah, it'll just articulate inside there. Pretty cool, I think. So we're getting that done. Get the, I think this needs the, the uh, window winders done. Um, and like I said, the glass is all sealed up, just dirty. And this is done and I've got to paint the hood. But like I said, the 57, we've got to paint some black on that. So we're going to paint it all at the same time um yeah so that's this is going to get uh taken out the storage it just needs a gas tank done too uh still haven't sorted out what kind of gas tank it's going to get in, get in there but for the for the time being it's getting a uh a boat gas tank hooked up to the electric fuel pump and out she goes we're getting more work guys so we're going to get rid of this this stuff that's been in here for over yeah, a so year. it can sit outside and like i said we've got work coming in and just we're running out of time for this thing you know what i mean so uh, we'll be hey back. guys, here's a demonstration on if you were to buy a long uh, channel, a uh, window channel. Now, so the doors, right, if I was to pick this up straight, the uh, first corner from the bottom where the channel starts at the bottom of the door glass, you know what I'm saying? So the lock would be about in this area. I hope you can see the camera properly, but I'm just saying the lock will be around about here. And this is the bottom of the, the retainer or the steel channel that holds this in. So it spins up here and, and it is damaged, guys. I mean, this is just a piece that we had laying around. But so, you know, if you try to bend that right here, if I try to bend this here, it's going to start. The, it's going to start. See how it wants to, it wants to crease right here you see what i'm saying it's trying to flex now and i've only got that much of a bend in it so far so and it's already trying to buckle so i'm going to straighten that back out and don't forget guys this is a is just a piece that we had lying around now the idea is start your bend see how that's not sticking out yet start your bend down here so just start your bend so both of those wires stick through see what i'm saying and just keep rolling it around and like i said this is this is all you know boogered up a bit but just just keep turning it keep bending it till you get where you want to get see how it's see how it's coming out the end here see more and more now look where it is there see because that that thing's flexing so get all the way keep keep bending that around and i'll just tilt the camera here for a second 
keep turning that. More too close. Just to keep turning that around. You know, I mean, making sure you always go back forward. Go, keep going back forward. Keep going back forward until you where you got to go. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? And and although I know it's all, you know, it was boogered up to start with, but just keep going. And that thing, will, see how it keeps on coming out more? See it? Sorry about the video processing here, but so let's just say, for instance, let's say, for instance, that first bend is right where my thumb is. Okay, so get it to where it is there. All right, bend it so it's going to go around that corner. Okay, keep bending it. And then once you think you got the corner, now go back. And straighten the corner out, just straighten the uh, the channel out like that. You see, so this is where the this is where it is the straight of the door glass, and this will straighten up in the channel. But as you can see, I've got a bend right where I need the bend, and as you can see here, see inside there in the corner, it's perfect. There's no bends, there's no buckles. It looks good, yeah. I really hope I'm showing this, but there it is there, the bend, and here it is here, and then you just straighten this back out, right? Right, there it is there, perfect bend. Now, to get the other side bend, let's say that bend, you know, the window, here's where the window is, and that was already there, if you remember, right? So, if the other side's here, and this is gonna be longer, right? You start at the other end. Let's say if the bend's gotta be there, you start at the other end, the same thing. Start at the bottom here, work your way to the corner, and that's it. And then, you see how how nice that looks now? You see that? So, that's how not to make a mess of it. And of course, this one's damaged, but, you know, and then here it is again. So, you gotta start, let's say we're gonna put a bend here, right? I'm gonna put a bend here. This is the window. It's it's the window is gonna be this big, let's say. Start at this end. Start bending it so it comes out. Oh, there you go. See how the, the wire is starting to come out? And just keep turning it, just keep bending it to where you gotta go. So like that. And you'll feel the wire turn in your hand. Uh you'll you'll feel the wire move in your hand. Keep moving it to where you gotta go. You know what I mean? Just making sure that you don't. Don't get, just take your time, don't. And you can feel the wire moving, I can feel the wire moving. Keep going, keep going. Keep turning it, you'll feel it, just keep turning it. I think you guys get the, the idea of what I'm trying to do here. Keep moving it. All right. And let's say that's your let's say that's your second bend here you see what i'm saying around the channel you can get them tied up but i'm just this is a quick demonstration okay there it is there just be careful you don't don't go too don't go too fast because you'll put a buckle in it you know what i mean and you can't straighten the buckles it just doesn't turn out right and then once you get where your bend you want it, so there, there's the bend there, just straighten the rest of it out. So there it is there. Does that make any sense? Am I making sense today? I don't know, but that's, you know what I mean? That's it there. So guys, to, to get that sort of a bend, it doesn't take as long as, you know, I've been doing it for. It takes three times longer. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm rushing. I'm trying to get it done, you know, for the, for the time we've got for for uh, you know for the video uh you know video footage but take your time and you'll get a good result you know uh don't forget these marks are already here right so these little dents and stuff uh but uh yeah if you just take your time go slowly really take your time bringing this up to it and it straightens back out you know it does it's no problem take your time all right we're going to install the pre-bent ones now the pre bent ones that come already bent so you don't have to worry about that heartache but if i'm just saying if if you looked online and you can't find 
you know, how to bend it because the guys at steel, uh, they have a video and they just start at the end here. They're just starting at this end here and they're going, oh, this is how it bends. And everyone's going, oh, oh, that's easy. But it's not if you've got to start in the middle. It's not. You just can't start from the middle is what I'm getting at. Hope, hope this helps. Okay, guys. So what we're going to do now is we're going to install the uh, back door glass on a four-door. Uh, things you will need is the pre-bent uh, window channel runner which looks like this. You'll need the glass or new glass as we're using this smoked one. Um, you'll probably need to use a brand new um, outer door felt. This will be mounted onto the stainless steel trim. Uh, and yeah, so let's get all this stuff on. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mount the uh, trim here. People call them fuzzies because they're fuzzy, I guess, but uh, yeah. I always call them just the weather strip, and that's what they are. They're just the window guide, really. It's it's for the window to run up here and also keep out some water. But, you know, that's the idea of keeping your drains clean at the bottom of your door. Water's going to get in there, right? Um, so, especially these older cars where they don't have rubber on the outside. Uh, yeah, you want to keep your doors always clear so water can drain out. And, uh, yeah, get all that grime and stuff out. And these print... Uh, these... Um, these pre-bent channels are great. I suppose the plus for these uh, pre-bent ones are, number one is, they're already pre-bent for you. They're perfect. They fit nicely. They're already pre-bent. You don't have to worry about bending. Um, and they've got these attached to them. On the front doors, on the front doors, if you just get the straight ones and pre-bend them yourself, uh, are, are the bends just as good? Well, yeah, it depends on how, how you bend them. Uh, but you have to screw them in, see? I've got screws here. Screws all the way up here. And each one of these marks represents where there's going to be a screw or where there was a screw. Same with here on the trim there. See the trim? It's got the black marks. That's where there's a, 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 a screw for the um, for the fuzzy. And up here too, all the way up here, there's screws. Uh, not on this one. This one was already on there. So, uh, well, no, sorry. Uh, this one here, it just pushes on. Uh, it's it's held in pretty tight the way it is so uh, that's the reason first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the the fuzzy or the weather seal and the stainless steel trim and we're going to put that onto that and uh, okay what I do is I still uh, sit the steel trim in place like this and you can see it's got some slots here one two uh, one two three four five I just mark in the middle of each one of them slots. So one here, one there, one there, one there, and one there. Let's bring these down here. Uh, what's that? Why I do that is because when I screw the uh, fuzzy to this face, um, you want the screw heads to go, you know, through this section here, or you can cut the back of the screws off after. If you do that and you want to take the fuzzy off, it makes it harder to get it back on because obviously you've just cut off the point, if you know what I mean. So let's get that fuzzy on. The original fuzzies were held on with um, staples. So you want to get a pair of plier or pointy nose pliers and pull them staples out, as you can see there. there they come out pretty easy. Uh, they're going to be in the way if you don't. Uh, so go ahead and do that. Pull the staples out of your stainless steel uh, trim there. Um, and then uh, make life a little bit easier. Alright, I've got one screw in. Right there. Line it up with the top. So the fuzzy, the stainless steel and the fuzzy is in line with the top. Here. Make sure you've got this V in the right area here. Make sure that lines up, both of these Vs. As you can see, the fuzzy... Uh, is not completely the same shape. So you have to sort of like uh, uh, get it close, bend it close, you know what I mean? So uh, the next one I'll do is I'll bend, I'll, I'll just slightly, very carefully bend this upwards. Uh, you will never get them perfect. They're not, there's no way you'll get them perfect because they're just not perfect. So, uh, but anyway, um, I'll get it closer and uh, we'll go from there and start screwing that all on. So I'm just um, bending this, uh, fuzzy around, you know, to suit this as I go, you know, it's getting better, right? This gap here, 
this sort of uh, it's lining up nice there um, as you can see you really can't see the screw hole so what I do is there it is there right I get a uh, a marker and I just dab a little bit of dab it you can use what you want but I use a just a marker paint it black and it's gone can't see it screw size comes with the kit when you buy this fussy kit it should come with the sprues and the I think the Dan Chuck part number is 175. It's the 55 to 57 fur channel kit, four door. So that's what it comes with. If it doesn't, well, if you have to buy it separately, maybe, I don't know. But, uh, and here's the screws. They've got tiny little screws and a small drill. I don't even know what size that drill is, but it's small. Be careful, because it'll snap. I'm gonna go ahead and finish all this off completely, and then I'll be back. There it is there, guys, all on, installed. Uh, come up pretty good uh, Yeah, just put that aside that pretty much goes on last so just bang that in the car put it up, you know inside the car there and uh, uh, Forget about it to the end. We're gonna put that glass in now So basically this is a video or this part of the video is just the insulation of the window It doesn't cover the door mechanism the lock mechanism the door um, uh, opener or the window winder this has already all been pre-installed, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show any of that. That's just to put, <clears throat> excuse me, that's just to put the window in. I'll go ahead and just spray up all the little rollers in there. Uh, anything that articulates on uh, the lock, the opener, the winder itself, and the actual. Um, uh, actual mechanism the door uh, winder itself yep uh, over here there's a uh, and I'll show you right there where these two bolts is there's a uh, a guide and it looks like it looks like this it goes in there like that you want to try to get up at, in there and throw some grease in there I, we just got some bearing grease throw some grease in there and I'll do that uh, that's for the one of the track rollers and here's a track roller here that that glides up and down It just helps it, you know uh, Be free, you know what I mean? So I uh, do that that's already connected So uh, that's part of the installation of of putting the window regulator in next thing you want to do is uh, Bring your window uh, all the way down install your glass and then I'll show you what to do after okay, that guys So just get your winder any winder Make sure you make sure your window is all the way down. Right. Alright guys, so now we're going to put the, the glass in. Here's the glass. I'm going to put this in. Simply grab it. Put it, like line it up with that channel we just installed. Alright, that's sort of like going to help you out a bit. You just slide it down. Slide it down. Grab it from underneath and just let it, let it let it sort of like sit down. It'll sit on the roller sort. We're gonna install this runner or guide. We're gonna install this guide into two of these um, rollers. These are the arms that get, uh, pivot the door up and down. And these 
once you get this in here, once you get them in, once you get these in those two rollers that go into the door, they'll sit like that. They fit on those two screws. There's two on one. Two on that side, and you can't see the other side, it's just out of focus, but it's it's back under there. See it there? So you feed these in the rollers first, and then there's two screws on each side. Alright, let me let me get it on there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, I got the guide and I slid it up onto the rollers into the door. That way it's dark in there, but pretty easy. Just get it in there, slip it straight up first and then feed into the other roller. What you see there, there's another one at the exactly same angle on this side. It just feeds into there. And then see these notch outs here? See these here? That window glass, although it's on a bit of an angle at the moment, that simply sits into there. So this needs to go across this way more you see what i'm saying it needs to pull this way and then sit in there and then we'll get two 1032 volts or is that 832 i'll double check that i'm pretty sure they're 832 volts they're about three eighths of an inch long um and just screw one on one side and here's the window to get to the other one and one on that side let me let me get there first and i'll show you what i mean all right guys so now we're up to the part where uh the window's in right so this is what i did Two screws here. You just swap two screws, 832 screws on this side, and this window here will have the other side here. And then there's the other two right there. See them? Do up them, do them up tight, um, and then you'll slip your your channel on. It slips in through this side between the lock and the window. It sometimes it gets caught, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it just slips in there, just straight down. Might have to just jiggle up and down a few times to get it in and you'll see these little nubs here now, i've gone too far there there you go see they line up that lines up with that this nub here lines up with that one and that one they line up with that one and there's more up here all the way around all the way around i'll go ahead and do that now line up these uh these nubs here on here there and there i get them close first before i uh you know put them in completely in just get everything in there lined up make sure you got this in on this side a bit tricky getting all this in you're going to be careful not to bend anything it uh, goes in there like that just just be careful it goes in like that make sure the knob the, the nubs all line up sort of like in the middle of of the provided slot and then uh you just tap them in Sometimes they get a bit, um, it's, it's a bit of work getting them in, but it's not, it's not hard. They just click in like that. Make sure they're lined up, leave them wide here. All right, guys. So uh, it's all in. All those uh, little nubs that go into here, one, two, uh, about six of them. Uh, they're all in, they push in. Uh, it's a bit hard to do it with the uh, one hand on the camera, but uh, you know, they're all on, all on nice. Window rolls up and down nicely. Uh, there's the fuzzy, the fuzzy on the stainless, all on, pushes down. There's two uh, uh, A32 screws there. I've got them down there, I just gotta connect them up. Uh, I just gotta, there's two, there's two A32 screws there. I just gotta screw them in, uh, all on. Yeah, looks good. Wind it up. Wind up. Beautiful. That's uh, dirty because you know how I greased that track. That uh, that track is, um, you know, I had that grease, of course, put my hands in it, and I'm trying to muscle this window, but that'll clean up nicely. Bit of Windex. Uh, yeah, so that's come up. I'm really happy with that. Hey, she's got four. She's got all four glass in there. Uh, looks good. All the chrome trims back, uh, all the uh, stainless trims back on. Looks neat, eh? Uh, got, still got to do the quarter glass there on this side. Uh, we've, it's around here somewhere. Where is that other quarter glass? Oh, there's, there it is over there. So they just kind of like sit in the place and the garnish molding uh, holds them in. That, that's nothing uh, special. The rubbers are actually in really good condition. They're still very pliable. And we've got some spare. See, there's nothing wrong with that rubber. It's good. It's good. Just needs a bit of a, a bit of a cleanup. So just put that in there. Put that. And this car can live outside. 
Uh, I've got to put the door locks on here. Uh, put all them back on. And uh, yeah, all the, the latches actually. So the doors will close. Uh, I think I need the screws. I think the screws are missing. So next thing we're going to get back into the wiring. There is a video uh, in between. I'm making in between this video and the last video. Uh, which was the uh, the uh, idea that steering column. Uh, wiring takes a little bit more time. Um, you know, you don't want to make mistakes with that. And it's not a standard small block. It's an LS. It's a carbureted LS. So uh, pretty much the same, but it's different, if you know what I mean. Right? Things are in different places. So uh, essentially the same, I should say. So uh, get the wiring in it uh, so we can uh, start it. And I've taken everything off the list here that we've done so far. Uh, I've, uh, what have I done? I filled the holes in the floor, done all that. Uh, the trunk floor is all done. Uh, what did I do? See, this is what I did today. The fuzzies and, the, and all that. Install the glass. That's all that. Up to the up to the wiring, which is here, and then the headliner, and then uh, get it running. But the getting run running section is part of is all together. So once we get the wiring done, it'll run. Uh, I'm going to put the bumper bar. The sorry, I'm going to put the rear bump. Uh, I'm going to put the rear. Uh, bumper ends on I could put uh, install the grill. We've got to do something with the rear springs They've put lowering kit in it or something uh, We're gonna paint the garnish moldings. I think they're going black. That would look good black transmission lines and front shocks uh, Stuff to buy purchase pass. We need a dash set. I think there's a carpet. I think we do have a carpet uh, we uh, need sun visor What else we need the door sills trunk seals um the hood all that sort of stuff's done the rubber bumper kit i don't think we've got that four door tack strip we need a four door tack strip and that's the tack strips for the headliner so that's stuff we're going to get and j seals j seals are the parts that run on the front door on a two door four door or hard top and they that's a j seal here it goes in like this and it goes around like that keeps the water when it's raining you know down here stops it from going in the car all right, guys, that is it for this video. Uh, next video, I'll be probably, it will be the wiring. Um, and I've got some mute stuff coming up too in the next week or two. Um, if you guys over in Australia that are interested in the uh, VR Commodore Ute that's over here, I'm putting the V6 back in it. I don't know how long that V6 is going to be in it for, but uh, we're going to get started here just after in the new year. Uh, it's November now, so it's a couple of days before before thanksgiving so uh we're going to start working on the ls the turbo ls again for that ute it's not going to go in this year i don't think but um we'll be working on it we'll be working on all the components the turbo and stuff like that and hopefully this time next year um we'll be putting that in the uh, in the ute ready for the year after so uh please guys like subscribe don't forget to comment um i really appreciate the comments um i answer everyone back I make it a point to. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.